What is going on guys? Today we are going to be talking about Brilliant Stars and that is kind of like the next buzz, the next set up. I'm going to talk like my uh, my take on it, what I'm going to do, uh, what I have, what I'm going to get and we're going to use some historical data, some references um, to Sword and Shield sets, more recent stuff. Um, we can dig back deeper if you guys would like. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like me to do that. But first up, this is currently my Brilliant Stars investment. Um, we got two of these Zards. Um, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know that I think this artwork is goaded. Um, absolutely brilliant. So um, I had one of these in PSA 10, picked up a second. Um, they've already risen in price, both of them. Um, I believe my, my price entry was around... Uh, 260 and 270 um, per, which is ridiculously low. I don't care what the pop count is. It's lower than Umbreon. Like, it doesn't matter. This is Charizard, and I've talked about it. You guys can go back, see my other videos if you'd like. Um, but yeah, so two of these, one to keep and hold forever, um, one to flip at some point. Long-term, short-term, probably more long-term. But let's move away from the Charizard for a second. And let's look at some data. So if you guys are new or not new, you guys know about Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike, kind of uh, the same thing. This was this this set sold out. You guys can see. Um, let's see. So 147 a box, and then this is like when it was starting to get hyped up and like oh available on Pokemon Center, and then just popped off like 240s. Look at so listed median price. Two hundred and sixty-two dollars. Um, so, Fusion Strike. I mean, I remember, guys. I know that now people are like thinking, saying that Fusion Strike is great. I remember watching. There was this guy on TikTok who was like taking his morning dump, and he would like rip Fusion Strike because it was so cheap. Anyways, as time moves on, people change their opinions. Um, Fusion Strike's a pretty good set. Anyways, so. Um, this, the moral of this story is sells out on Pokemon Center, boop, price increase, okay? Let's look at something that is happening now, okay? Lost Origin just sold out on the Pokemon Center. If you guys have watched my videos, uh, we've talked about this. We already, I've made videos when we were here. Actually, we were like in this range. And I said, Pokemon Center, you get it, right? So um, I got the Giratina and I got booster boxes. Um, so I'm good. And kind of what's happening, guys, if you're not aware, is some of the money is it was going like Evolving Skies and then went to Fusion Strike and it's like hop and then Astral Radiant. And it's like hopping following the next like. So these boxes are going to pop and they're going to like level off, maybe dip down a little bit, um, which is good. You want to see that. You don't want to just see like a up and then a down. Um, so that shows like some strength at prices. But you can see like right here, look at this listed median price, 232 Okay for uh lost origin there so that is the set that is like currently in that just sold out and that is going to rise the guillotine is going to rise everything's going to rise so that's why next up people are saying it's between silver tempest and brilliant stars i think it's brilliant stars silver tempest is not a bad play uh real quick if you guys made it this far in the video 97.7 of you guys are percent are not subscribed if you guys could do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button um i would really appreciate it uh work hard getting these videos out to you guys next up Let's look at the Brilliant Stars boxes now. So this is what is happening. 184 median price, 167 market price. You guys can see it, it's pretty stable at that 167. Um, once again, if you can get these on the Pokemon Center, order six. Not guaranteed that you'll get a case, but they most of the time will ship you a case, okay? Um, I'm, I'm trying to be um, transparent. I think there's a lot of uh people making content um especially pokemon people who don't really disclose everything that they have right so i showed you my charizards okay i um i i don't I, the giratina is over there i have the giratina in a 10 and i have eight lost origin booster boxes i am trying to get at minimum one case of brilliant um keep in mind that like not everyone not everyone is a whale guys i don't have like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just sitting in my account um ready to just splurge on so i'm working trying 
you know, save up a little bit of extra extra cheddar, sell, sell some stuff, kind of offload, move move some stuff around. Um, so yeah, so Brilliant Stars is on my radar, and I'll probably be going through the Pokemon Center if you have that at your disposal. Um, I would advise that. Um, so that's that's my current stance. Um, obviously, it's be- it's best to get them. Oh yeah, at eighty dollars a box, like back when you could. Duh. Okay. <laughs> That's what people are going to be saying later about Scarlet and Violet. That's another topic for a few years from now, maybe, or at least a year. But um, let's look at the Charizard. Okay, I told you guys my entr- uh, entrance price was like two sixty and two seventy five for these cards. I believe, yeah, two sixty something and two seventy five. Um, I believe they were free shipping. I can't can't recall off the top of my head. But um, these are the uh, last solds as of this recording. Um, 300, 315, 330, 300, 300, 300. Okay, so we've already had a little bit. Oh, here's a 350. Um, price price hike here. Okay, um, I know this is a high pop, not as high as Umbreon, but let's see. Um, so those are solds. Like we got one at 280 with an hour left. Um, looks like lowest lowest in a 10 is 300 bucks. So often what happens, guys, and then we're then we're looking. You know, if you're in the 300s, then we're going 350, 400. At least that's what the listings are saying. So a lot of times what happens, <clears throat> and this set isn't like it's starting to get hyped, but just know that sometimes it seems like, it, and it can vary, the booster boxes will come up and then the chase cards will follow. Um, not always in that order, sometimes in reverse and sometimes delayed, sometimes together. It, 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 it varies. Just keep that in mind. But... So, like, moving forward, when I can, one case minimum, one chase card minimum, but ideally two chase cards in a 10, so you have one to keep, because, let's be real, guys, if you are in this and you're not a collector at heart, you might not do too well, but there is something to be said for... If you're not a collector, you might be able to flip those and you can let those go easier with less emotion attached. So, I mean, there's something to be said for that. But I think if you're not passionate about it, you're probably not going to do well. You're going to you're gonna be in, do your thing, and get out and be over it, right? So I'm kind of I'm in it for the long term. So, um, I, I mean, you know, and then let's, um, like, so Brilliant Stars, I, I think, will be the next one to go. Um, Lost, Origin, Lost Origin can come back. Um, into stock again, like Astral did that. It's possible. It'll be brief, and then it'll get eaten up. You know, that's kind of just what happens. But um, it's it's going to be between Silver Tempest and Brilliant. I think Brilliant will go first, then Silver. I think Silver Tempest is weaker overall, but that Lugia is dope. I don't think you could go wrong with either. I'm just this is just my um, my opinion here, guys. So um, do with that what you will. But, um, yeah, that's kind of just my video for the day, my two cents on everything. Um, If you made it this far, like I said, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Throw a like down there and uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. What what, what are you picking up? Where are you at? Are you getting boosters? Are you getting chase cards? Are you getting nothing? Uh, What sets next? Like, let me know in the comments. And uh, remember, guys, it was never a phase. It was never a phase. And I will catch you guys in the next one.